Hello everyone and welcome to Fedora KDE 25 Beta. So this video right here is just going to walk through a little bit of what I have seen using the new beta of KDE 25. So this is pretty much this is pretty much a standard install. I have installed a few programs. I've obviously installed Installed Voco Screen for my screencast. I've installed K Super Key because I just can't handle not having a super key anymore. I'm just getting so used to it over time. Uh, Yakuake, probably butchered the name of that, but my drop down terminal because again, I just can't live without it. Uh, I've also installed Audacity Free World and Kden Live and VLC. Those are all apps that I have already installed just to make things easier for me for video editing and uh, screencasting and everything. So I haven't even installed the updates that come from it. So there's 325 new updates from a new system. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the info center and go ahead and open up the info center so whoops in the info center see right here it ships with plasma 5.75 KDE frameworks 5. Uh, cute version 5.7 kernel version 4.8.0 I have a 64-bit operating system and here's my hardware at the end. So we're going to go ahead and install the updates and see if the updates change anything. Alrighty, and now we are up to date. So one thing I did forget to mention was I also installed the RPM Fusions free and non-free so that I could install VocoScreen and Audacity and Kden Live. So those are also things that I have put into here. So if we go to the uh, Fedora magazine, they have a little little article here on the Fedora 25 beta. So Fedora wide changes. Docker updated to version 1.12. Support for weaker certi certificate authorities has been removed. Node.js has been updated to version 6.x. Secondary architectures, now known as alternate architectures. Uh, Rust Fedora 25 brings the support for the Rust programming language. Rust is a system programming language which runs blazing fast and prevents almost all crashes side faults and data races. Uh, Pythons alongside the standard Python version included in Fedora 25, Python programmers can now install Python 3.4, 3.3, and 2.6 from the repositories to help them run test suites on multiple Python versions. So we go down, we got Fedora Workstation, it talks about GNOME, uh, Wayland by default which is only on GNOME, and we got Fedora Server, Fedora Atomic, and Spins. So it really doesn't give you a lot of detail on the KDE features other than it has improved packages for music, video, and personal information management. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open up system settings now. Now at the bottom of system settings, this one's new. I don't remember it being in Fedora 24, but basically under system administration and system settings, you click on software management and it, it actually has kind of a software management tool built into the system settings as opposed to opening up a software manager. Um, so that's new. That's the only thing in the system settings that I saw that looked new to me. Um, all the rest of this is pretty much your normal KDE, normal Fedora. So we're going to go ahead and open up the info center again. 
Now, now that we've updated, we are KDE Plasma version 5.8.0, KDE Frameworks version 5.26.0, Qt 5.7, uh, kernel didn't update because I haven't rebooted the system yet, <clears throat> and then my hardware. So it automatically installs 5.7, but after you update it, goes up to 5.8 which the most 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 current release of KDE Plasma is 5.8.1 which I think was recently uh, recently released so one other thing that I've changed on this system is the start menu it automatically has it set up as the applications launcher uh, I switched it to the applications menu because it's easier to kind of go through here. So we're going to go through and take a look at what apps are currently uh, are automatically installed. So administration, you got Apper, the Applications Software Center, Firewall, and Language. Under development, you got Qt5 Q Dbus Viewer. Under games, you got K Mahjong, K Patience, and K Mines. Graphics automatically comes with Gwynview, Color Paint, Ocular, uh, K Color Chooser, and K Ruler. Under Internet, uh, let's see, Firefox is the standard browser, I Am Contacts is the standard messenger, uh, Kgit is the standard torrent getter. KML is the standard uh, email client. Uh, Conquer is installed. KTorrent is also on here, so KGit, KTorrent. Apparently I have more software updates. Um, they also installed Cupzilla. Um, so that's it for internet. Multimedia. Amarok is the default music player. I installed Audacity, so that didn't come standard on there. Uh, Dragon Player was automatically on here as the main player. K3B is the main uh, DVD writer, CD writer. Camoso for camera. Kden Live I installed on here. VLC I installed on here, and Voco Screen I installed on here. Uh, for Office. Office, we have the Caligra set, which I've always found weird that KDE has the Caligra sets and then the uh, GNOME workstation has LibreOffice. I've always kind of thought that, that was weird. Maybe it's because Caligra is a KDE kind of push for that Office suite. Contact, KML. See setting settings. You just have system settings under system. You got Muon Discover, Dolphin, Fedora Live, USB Creator, uh, Fedora Release Notes, which we'll go to that after we go through these. Info Center, K3B, Partition Manager, Console. Yeah, I installed Yakuwaki. You see utilities. We got Arc, KCalc. K character select, uh, da, 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 K right. Personally, I like Kate better, so I'll be installing Kate on my system not too long. Um, so if we go back up to system, we go under Fedora release notes. Let's see, and it takes you to welcome to Fedora 24 so that's interesting I guess uh, this didn't end up getting updated now because I had sudden updates that suddenly appeared 109 updates I'm gonna go ahead and hit upgrade again and see what that's all about nothing to do Nothing to do. So I've had the issue before, not just with Fedora 25, with Fedora 24. I know sometimes I would update in the console 
and then this would still have other updates so we'll just click on the graphical version and network manager breeze icons kf5 kf5 and we'll just hit install and let it go through its thing as you notice it has updates even though the terminal didn't have updates let's see so fedora 25 is expected in november uh i think it was saying maybe mid-november 13th 14th 15th i can't remember the exact date um since this is a beta release we expect that you'll encounter bugs or missing features uh you file a bug if you're going to test beta um overall though from what i've been working on it i haven't had anything crash on me yet i honestly i have just kind of started it up and everything's been going exactly how you would assume it would go um, let's see all right let's see folder view settings backgrounds it comes standard with three backgrounds so whenever you go to the login screen this background is what the actual login screen is so I would say that that's the standard background even though it automatically reassigned it to that um, this is a background from neon all the rest of this stuff is pretty much the oops the same uh, options that you get from Fedora 24. I'm sure that there are just bug fixes and updates and those type of things. Uh, get new wallpapers. So the plasma get hot new stuff button works fine. It pulls up and loads up the list of everything. Now I know that in the past I've seen it where it didn't load this very well. Um, but it looks like it's loading fine now. Let's see. Apply a new background. Apply a new background. And it's pretty snappy. I've had times where I tried to change the wallpaper and it was just a little laggy when it was changing them. And so we're OK. We're going to go into system settings, uh, workspace themes look and feel there's several different look and feels for it uh, the old 24 the just regular fedora uh, breeze dark so it changes the entire look and feel and it looks like they they now have a get new looks button which i have not seen before and all of these themes right here you can pull up on KDE look but it looks like they optimize a way for you to actually install full out look and feels which is actually pretty cool let's see I installed it it didn't update go ahead and go to the system settings again and it's still not there Use desktop layout from theme. The plasma layout will be lost and reset. So, if your theme, like this theme right here, has a uh, a clock widget on there, if you use the desktop theme and you hit apply, it should add that to the desktop layout. And that actually is taking a long time. Hey, I might have just found a freeze. Yep, everything seems to be. Yep, that's still working. So the look and feel is now broken. Hmm. Try 
discriminate. So let's go in there and try that again. Workspace themes. Click on Fedora. Hit apply. Oops. Would help if I clicked use desktop layout. Now hit apply. It does not seem to be updating like I thought it would. Let's see. So we'll try Breeze, use desktop layout, apply. So this may just be something that they're still working on because um, I know that this is new. I've never seen it before in any distribution that I've used, and I've used many KDE distributions. Let's see, desktop themes is as you would expect. Cursor themes, just like any other KDE distro. Splash screen, same as anything else. So. It doesn't necessarily look like a whole lot of these have changed, but definitely, definitely being able to install a new look and feel from here is definitely something that has changed, which is really exciting. Oh, that updated, but it did not create a widget. Uh, I don't know that it necessarily changed anything else. <clears throat> That is it for all the things that I'm going to test with this beta distribution. I do like it though. I really, really like Fedora. Fedora is one of the distros that I just keep coming back to because I always find that it's the most stable. I always find that I have the least, least amount of bugs. Of course, I'm using Intel graphics, so I don't have to worry about the whole NVIDIA and ATI issues that some people end up having um, since Fedora doesn't have a install drivers, which actually we can double check and make sure they didn't suddenly add that. And yeah, nope, they didn't suddenly add that, which I didn't think they would. Um, uh, Fedora's just always been a pretty good rock for me for as far as distributions go. Uh, I mean, this is just a beta distribution right here, and you know, I haven't had a single crash. I've had a little bit of weirdness with the look and feel and the system settings. That's pretty much the only crash, bug, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's always been just stable. And I'm a distro hopper. I try not to be so much of a distro hopper, but uh, sometimes you just gotta try out other things. Um, but I keep going back to Fedora because it's just one of the strongest, most stable, most professional distros that I've ever really tried. Um, also for the install, when I was installing, a lot of the menus seem to be snappier as you're going through setting up everything. Um, obviously the installing the software from the disk to the computer it did take a long time but you're copying over a gig of information so obviously it's going to take a while. But the options, the menu options, they all went way smoother. Uh, thank you for watching, and this was our Fedora KDE 25 beta test. Thank you.